Hello guys, hope you're having a good day. Today I'll show you guys how to deep load a NVIDIA GPU and still be able to record videos or clips without performance loss using OBS. First thing we're going to do is download the file in the description. Once it has been downloaded, open the file, right click DDU and run it as an administrator. If it, asks, if it tells you that there are updates available, just ignore it and click no. Just make sure you're following what I'm doing on the screen. Right. On the top right, select GPU and then click the middle one here, clean and do not restart. I cannot click this as if I do this, then my recordings will stop. So I'll be, you, can, you guys can like pause the video now and wait for it to finish or whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next step. Okay. So once you guys have finished uninstalling your driver, now you can click NV clean store, right click it and run it as administrator. Now here select manually, select the driver version and then show all versions. Here it's really up to you what version you choose, but I recommend the 522.25 desktop version because in my opinion, it's just the most stable and least latency. Obviously, you could choose whichever one. And if you're on laptop, make sure you choose the notebook version, not the desktop version. So once you've done that, click next, next. And this will vary on your download speed. So this could take some time for you. So let's just wait. Once that is finished, select the first three options. Make sure you disable multiplane overlay. Select show expert tweaks. Disable DHC HDCP if you don't watch Netflix on your computer and then also enable message signal interrupts and then click next. After you've done that, click install. I won't click install as I've already got my driver installed. So once you click install, just wait for it to install. Pause the video now and wait for it to finish. On to the next step. Now we're going to be installing OBS. So it's a simple install. Just double click on it. Keep clicking next and install and agree to everything. And then once you've got it open, just um, copy these settings over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to hop into settings. You're going to come down here. Make sure these three are enabled. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come into streaming. You're going to select um, NVIDIA NVEC here as it's the least delay if you stream. I would probably set this to something higher than 2500. Obviously, this is your bitrate, so it relies on internet connection. So I think somewhere around 4500 to 6000 is good. Um, over here, you're going to select the file where you want to down where you want your videos to go to and then um, make sure that you put this format as in mp4 and then the encoder is the same as the one before you're gonna have to come down here make sure this is put on 5000 i mean uh 50000 for the recording and then go to the replay buffer set this to however long you want your instant replay to be so if you want it for the past 60 seconds you do 60 seconds if you want it for five minutes you do 360 seconds then you go to audio you put the sample rate to 44.1 go to video make sure that outscaled resolution is 1920 by 1080 or whatever you want it to be as click on here change it from 30 to 60 come over here in hotkeys scroll all the way down till you can see replay buffer click here and put whatever button you want so like alt f10 or whatever you want it to be to clip and then click apply when i started editing this video i realized that i forgot to mention one step in the obs um, process so 
for there to be a screen like this and for you to be able to see your screen when you clip you've got to press right click here add display capture okay and then select um keep it on automatic and then select the display you want to record okay once you've done that it should tell you that you should restart your obs you can go on and do that after you've done that click windows and r this little tab will show up type shell with a colon start up after you've done this obviously i've already done this step so you come over here you click properties you come over here and then dash dash start replay buffer click apply click ok delete this i'm deleting this one because i've already done it uh create shortcut drag this over here now every time you open your pc clip should be already enabled and you just need to press that one button for it to clip make sure over here you've put a space between the speech marks and the double dash and it should be working all fine if you've got any questions just drop them down in the comments so obviously that now that you don't have um nvidia clipping and you can screenshot with it either we're going to be downloading lightshot what this is is just screenshots it lets you screenshot so after you've downloaded it right click it click options go to hotkeys and then instant save of the full screen click here and put it to whatever you want for example alt f1 for example once you've done that the clips should be going to your documents file so your documents file should be in your users and then it should be right here so the clip the screenshot should be going right here if you've got any questions i'll leave my discord down below so you can message me on there or you could leave a comment and i will reply as soon as i see the comment now thank you very much and have a good day and i hope you enjoyed the video